Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, we have three things to talk about. And one of them is about a woman who is asking the public for their opinion as it relates to a situation that she's in. So basically, she had data man. And it's like every time the man come pick her up, him daughter, when him daughter at the front seat, she no one get up and make she got the front seat. You understand? You know, we as youngsters would have get up and make the adult got the front seat. Well, that not happen none at all. And because the man now say anything to him daughter, the woman feels some type of way. It kind of little deeper than that. And as I read the thing that she sent in, you know, kind of understand it a little bit more. And also, I'm going to show you some of the reactions from the people. And also, more and more, what would you do if you were in this woman's position? You understand what I'm going to say? But separately from that, we're going to talk about your girl, Shensia, who has settled her second lawsuit because Shensia was being sued by two particular persons, a producer that goes by the name of Pupa Nasty. That lawsuit was recently settled, I believe, Zane, and that was for the lick collab that she did with Megan the Stallion. So the man did a social media and a label and stuff like that, right? So right now she settled the second lawsuit, which is with a female that goes by the name of Stephanie Sarley. And the woman claims that Shensia must use some of her images or some drawings or something like that in a music video, right? So that actually gets settled right now. So I'm going to read the story so I understand what's going on. And last but not least, we're going to talk about Wayne Marshall celebrating his wife, Tammy Chain, 40th birthday yesterday, my people. And you don't know him right at touching post to him wife, how much him love her and stuff like that. So I'm going to actually read the post and you don't know, even though yesterday was her birthday, when you can wish her a happy belated birthday, said we. You understand, people? But before I go further into the topics, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn the notification notification bell for all that way you can get notified when i post a new video and also follow my youtube channel well subscribe to my youtube channel news mix and also follow my instagram page mix up time four all right people with that out of the way we're gonna get to the story about the woman who is asking the public for their opinion because she wonder if she overreact and things so let me read what she actually sent in and only can tell me anything right so she said good day What's your viewers take on this? Hide my ID. Where in your man's car should you sit? With a question sign. Let's say he picks you up from work in the evening with his daughter. She's a teen slash stepdaughter. She's always in the front. And if we are going out, she will go in the car first and sit in the front seat. While you have to sit at the back. The man never says anything. Am I overreacting for feeling some type of way? So that is what she asks in. Basically... You know, the teen now nah, get up and, you know, from the front seat and say, you sit down at the front. You understand what I say? But I feel like that's something where me would have done. You know, mother say, go on at the front, man. Just out of respect or whatever. Zen people, but of course, you know, some teens want to ride at the front seat and maybe the man no look on it no way. But anyway, these are some of the comments them. Zen, somebody say, the daughter slash stepdaughter either doesn't respect you or does not like you. Maybe there's a lack of discipline. Hard to say just from what you wrote. However, if it's something that bothers you, then speak then speak with your man about it. Most likely not praise that at all. I just some man stay. Speak with him, but don't make it a big deal. You can also strive to get your own vehicle. Bet the child won't jump in the front of that. <laughs> Somebody say buy your own car put your bag on the front seat and let him and his daughter sit in the back <laughs> ah boy somebody said the little girl had do it on purpose somebody said me glad me not frightened for front seat but the sender me see where you're coming from but it's probably something she used to before you come in the picture just talk to him just talk to him sender and stop overthinking because you will grow hatred for that child through car seat another person says sender don't listen to all the disrespectful low lives in the comment section that doesn't know their worth and maybe in the similar position as in they are the dis disrespectful stepchild are in the one time woman who she and her child doesn't know their place but lady respect is respect and if your man respect you he wouldn't allow you to sit at the back sitting in back and this girl at the front makes you look like nothing express how you feel and if he refuse to see the problem in the relationship then you don't need me to tell you it's time to leave nothing would be in that relationship for you i would never stand for that i would never allow anyone to make me look and feel small somebody said go go buy on your own car on a love front seat too much if i'm here the stepdaughter and you come with this as you reach as you reach your yard you and my father left 
them girl you understand say the man them child are them number one priority and me can see why why you not last in that relationship long because that child not like you and you not like that child either all right, people, may I read about three more comments? Somebody said, first of all, some of Uno in the BC comment section are going the most. If this was me, yes, I would say something because obviously, the child don't understand. If he picks me up, she's in the front, that's fine. But if we are going out, why is she sitting at the front with a question sign? I would just say, I am not going simple. Someone sent a convo about a mother's about mothers before and when I dated my ex. One day we went somewhere and I gave up the front seat. That's how much respect I had for his mom. All when me and him did left. Some are uno for gwe. That's why I mean I like take man with kids cause it can be a task. Alright, two more comments. Somebody say your mind is not good. If you came in their life and that's where she sit it shouldn't be a problem. You're jealous, and yes, you're overreacting. It's not serious. Let the young lady sit there with her dad. One more, one more comment. <laughs> Somebody said, I have a stepdaughter, and whenever me, her, and her dad going out, she knows the back seat is hers. I need to hold our man hand when he's driving or while driving. <laughs> so people, where do you think? Is the child wrong for sitting in the front seat right beside our father? Should he tell her, say, look, guard the back, my woman for come at the front? Or should, should the woman understand, say, I'm child that? You understand what I mean? I say, you know, I'm number one priority that, so nothing wrong if she want to run guard the front seat. What would you do if you was in this position? The man them, tell me what you would do. And the woman them, tell me what you would do. Zen people, and I'm going to leave it right there. So the next thing we're going to talk about is a girl, Shensia. And as I say, Shensia has officially settled her second lawsuit, and this has to do with a woman who who is suing Shensia for a bag of money more people seeing over some um, well, images that she used in a music video. Yeah, so let me get to the article. This way you can get an understanding, right, my people? So it says, Shensia reaches settlement with Stephanie Sarley to end copyright lawsuit over music video. Shensia and her record label Interscope Records have reached a settlement with American visual artist Stephanie Sarley in a copyright infringement lawsuit over the Jamaican singer's 2019 music video for her song For Play. In a notice of settlement obtained by Dan Salmag, Sarley's attorney Pete and Shahari LLP notified the California court where the matter was being heard that a settlement to resolve all claims at issue in this case has been reached. Terms of the settlement were not disclosed, but Sarley had sought up to 450,000 US dollars in damages in the suit filed on October the 21st, 2022. In the notice, which was filed on Wednesday, June the 14th, Sarley requested that the court suspend all scheduled, date, scheduled court dates and maintain jurisdiction to enforce the terms of the settlement agreement until formal dismissal paperwork is filed, anticipated within a 60-day time frame. The California-based artist whose provocative work has been featured in The Guardian had initially targeted Shensia and Interscope, a subsidiary of UMG, alleging that nearly 40 seconds of footage from three of her unique fruit video clips were unlawfully incorporated into the music video for four play. The clips in question, Sarley claim, were subtly altered in tone and hue and used in the music video without her permission. In May 2023, the lawsuit expanded to include Mark of Frame ex God Ruiz, the director of the music video after Shensia and Interscope denied the allegations and claimed that if any infringement had occurred, it wasn't their responsibility as it would have been the fault of other persons or entities over which they had no control. Sarley's lawsuit had sought an unspecified award of damages and profits or alternatively statutory damages up to $150,000 for each of her three clips allegedly used without her consent. Produced by Russian, foreplay was released in October 2019 after Shensia signed with Interscope Records and Rich Immigrants Imprint in May of that year. The original video was removed from YouTube after Sarley complained about the alleged infringement on Instagram. In early December 2019, Shensia released an edited version of the foreplay video, Divide of Sarley's Fruit Clips. It now stands at 20 million views on YouTube. This marks the second copyright infringement lawsuit Shensia has settled this year. In March 2020, 
2023, she resolved a dispute with the New York-based producer Anastas Pupana Steve Hackett, who had claimed that she released Lick with rapper Megan Thee Stallion without his consent. Lick had sampled a 2002 remix of Denis Sassi or Belfon's work, which was produced and co-written by Hackett. Hackett, who had sought over $10 million US dollars in damages, profits and legal fees, had told Dan Salmag that he could not reveal the actual settlement figure because of a confidentiality agreement. This is just business. It's over and everyone is agreeable and satisfied with the outcome, the producer has said. So yes, people, the good thing is that Shensia settled them last week here because it's just not good for have them thing a loom over your head, you see me? And, you know, you see, when you're popular, uh, that are the thing. I guarantee you if it was a person when I really, you know, not really have money and them thing they use, the woman video or clips or images or whatever, I don't know if she really go through all of that. You see me? You know, she have our money and her com- um, the label where she signed to and thing. That's just how it goes. So, you have to just know what you are doing at this business. Right, my people? Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So, now we're going to talk about Wayne Marshall celebrating his wife, Tamichin birthday, which was yesterday. I understand? So, yesterday, the female entertainer turned 40 years of age, looking beautiful as ever. So, Wayne Marshall goes up some posts up. That photo that you're seeing and in the caption he said, help me wish my amazing and multi-talented wife and life partner the happiest of birthdays. You continue to inspire us every day with your boundless creativity, intelligence and passion for life and motherhood. Here's to celebrating all the incredible milestone you've achieved so far and all the amazing adventures yet to come. I am so grateful to have you by my side as we navigate this beautiful journey together. Cheers to a fabulous year ahead and a life time of happiness love and endless possibilities i love you more than words can express p.s you don't look a day over 30 hashtag finally 40 at tammy mitchell yes it so that is what's taking place as it my people and as me say yesterday was her birthday but you still can you don't know wish her a happy belated birthday you know, she has celebrated same way, I'm pretty sure. Because you don't know, we as Jamaicans don't just celebrate one day worth a birthday. <laughs> anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And that's it for the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel, News Mix. I appreciate that. And also, follow my um, Instagram page, Mix Up Time 4. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.